Hello all, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com and I'm here today with this project update video of the Static 1.6 scale M4A3 105mm Sherman tank. As we can see since the last video a lot of progress has been made to the tank's lower hull, which I will go over some of these details now. Starting with the tank's lower plate, we will see that the large gaping Flintstones mobile hole has been plated over. Also, lower hull detailing has been added. Here we can see the escape hatch. These are lower hull rigidity brackets. And this here is an access panel for the tank's engine. Drainage plugs were also added. On the tank's front lower hull, we will see here the fastener strip for the tank's transmission. Transmission has also been reworked to have the tow hook and tow loop eyes as well as side fasteners and fastener bulge here. In this position here is where the final drive goes and for this I will be using the rest inversion from Panzerworks. So. On the tank's rear wall we will see that the entire rear section has been reworked and redetailed. The original rear wall looked like this here. The entire plate was cut out, a new one was put in its place and rest and detailing was added over it. All these details here are from EastCoastArmory.com. Starting here we will see the engine hatch, gooseneck exhaust, tow hitch extender with tow hitch mount, and rear idler mount. Over here this is the lower hull extender set. This set here connects the rear hull to the upper hull here. These fin objects here are actually the guards for the exhaust deflector grill which will be fabricated out of sheet metal next. To open the hatch with a socket driver I loosen these three bolts here. Once the bolts are removed the hatch will swing open. As we can see the hatch does have its interior detailing. On this tank though this hatch will not be opened very often or at all because the tank has no interior detailing. If I ever do a Sherman with interior detailing, this hatch will be painted on the inside so I can reveal the engine and the engine compartment. Moving along to the tank sidewall, the entire tank sidewall was plated over. If you can remember from the original video, where these boogies are, are actually three plates that would indicate where to mount the suspension. Then the rest of the hull was actually lower than the plates and was flush all the way to the transmission cover. On the real Sherman, the transmission cover, as I said before, is recessed into the lower hull. To do this, the three plates were removed and the entire lower hull was plated over up to the transmission cover. As you can see here, this is where the recess now lies. This is the transmission cover and that there's the lower hull. Welds have been added along the sponson and top and will be seen if you look close at the vehicle once completed. On the back here, we will see, on the rear portion of the sponson, the axis cap, and there's another one on the other side. So here's the detail on the idler mount, which is also made out of resin and is offered by ECA. And over here, we will see the Little Joe auxiliary generator. Now, the reason why it's on this side is because the tank's upside down. When you flip the tank over, this will be on the proper side. Over here is a cover plate, or a guard plate, for the Little Joe exhaust. This is to keep any debris kicked up from the track and the idler, which would go over here, from the, or damaging the, ex the exhaust conduit. Conduit itself is all fabricated out of brass and is soldered together. For the tank's idler wheel, I will be using my own ECA mid-production idler wheel. The wheel itself and the swing plate are all casted in resin and have steel shafts which hold the wheel up. The wheel gets inserted into this hole here and can be, and can be adjusted for track tension. The wheel itself is actually retained into the shaft via a washer and a lock pin. Lock pin securely holds it in place and the wheel will spin freely. The tank's VVSS suspension has also been added. The suspension is all casted in resin and is full functional. It has some spring to it 
and will form fit with the terrain that the tank is placed on, giving for a very realistic look. The wheels here spin freely, and this tank will be able to roll once pushed. For the tank's wheels, I went with the late, uh, late spoked wheel with the wrench slits. I also went with the plated over spoked wheel. These wheels here are a relatively new addition to the ECA product line and are reversible, meaning that on this side here we will see oval patches welded in place over the holes, and on the reverse side you will see square patches welded over the holes. These patches were placed over the early spoked wheels to prevent debris, either man-made or natural, from getting stuck in the cog and then stopping or causing a malfunction with the suspension. Later wheels, or the later spoked versions, address this issue and the only slots that are here are for getting to the Zerk fittings. The wheels, as we can see here, have been fully painted in their base coat of olive drab and their inner portion rubber tires have been painted. This is done simply because when the tank is fully built, I'm not going to be able to rest it on the hull anymore and when it's time to come to paint the tires, I'm not going to be able to get to this point of the vehicle because it's, upside, or because it's on the under hull. So I paint the rubber on now so that later the only piece of the tire I have to paint is the exterior rim and the center part of the rim. On these Shermans, as a side note, the return rollers here are not rubber and are actually steel, as are the idlers. Many model makers building Shermans in, in lots of different scales seem to think that these pieces are rubber rim. They are not. They're both steel rimmed. The only rims that are rubber on Shermans, on the VVS Sherman that is, are the main road wheels themselves. This here is testing the tank suspension uh, when it's holding up its own weight. As we can see, the tank is, suspension is doing its job and it's keeping the tank above ground. It also has some spring to it. And will look good on uneven terrain. And that concludes this project update video for this 1-6 scale M4 A3 105mm Sherman tank. Be sure to check out eastcoastarmory.com for more detailed part upgrades and more projects. Thank you.